يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي وإلى Islam does not clash with science, rather it encourages scientific exploration and discovery. The Prophet foretold facts about the human body that were way ahead of his time and later proven correct. Today at the Lumination, we will discuss three prophetic narrations and a Quranic verse that mention facts about the human body that were verified only recently. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Everyone has been created with 360 joints. Whoever mentions Allah's greatness, praises Allah, extols Allah, seeks forgiveness from Allah, removes obstacles from people's paths, enjoins good and forbids evil in proportion to those 360 joints, will walk on the day of judgment having distanced himself from the hellfire. Remarkably, the Prophet precisely mentioned the number of joints in the human body that would have been impossible without a divine revelation. A 2010 report by a team of orthopedic surgeons at Minneapolis Orthopedics Clinic confirmed that there are 206 bones, 360 joints and 640 muscles in the adult human body. This hadith encourages Muslims to be grateful for each of these joints, to perform charitable acts and to express gratitude for these blessings. Even a defect in one of these joints can cause significant discomfort and pain. On other occasions, the Prophet spoke of the mysteries of the human body that were not fully understood until recent medical advancements. A Canadian scientist confirmed the truth of one such hadith. In Imam Muslim's book, Hudayfa, one of the companions of the Prophet, narrated that the Prophet said, The sperm and ovum drop falls into the uterus and remains for 40 nights, after which the angel in charge of fashioning it descends upon it and says, Lord, male or female, then Allah makes it male or female. Dr. Keith Moore, a professor of human anatomy and embryology at the University of Toronto, was intrigued by the Prophet's sayings and Quranic verses on embryology. He conducted studies to test their validity. Dr. Moore observed that in the early stages of development, the reproductive organs of the embryo are identical. A crucial chromosomal event determining the embryo's sex occurs in the second half of the sixth week of gestation, aligning with the Prophet's statement that is, after 40 days. We must note here that the sex determination occurs at fertilization. The male sperm combines with the female egg. The hadith indicates that an angel that is responsible for the formation of the baby asks Allah whether to give the baby male or female organs and that aligns perfectly with scientific observations. Dr. Moore acknowledged the accuracy of the Prophet's words and the divine nature of the Quran. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. He could not have known such details. He studied this Quranic verse. He makes you in the wombs of your mothers in stages, one after the other, in three wheels of darkness. The concept that the human embryo develops in stages was not recognized until the 15th century. Only after the discovery of the microscope in the 17th century did scientists begin to describe the embryonic stages accurately. We will present more scientific facts foretold by the Prophet in our next video. Stay connected by subscribing.